us. It's okay, guys. It should be here in five, four, three, two. excited about the jellyfish bloom at sundown. And there is no way I am missing the end of summer boardwalk bike race. If anyone else wants to ride, the bus has a few extra beach bikes. Oh, that all sounds so fun. But I'm looking forward to a romantic day with just me and Tom. Boo! Boo all you want. But me and Angela have been planning a romantic beach getaway all summer. And all we need is a beach towel and... <gasps> An entire cooler filled with homemade ice pops. This day is gonna be unforgettable. <gasps> hey! You're giving up summer fun so you can make gaga eyes at each other? Look, you'll be begging to hang with us. Oh! Did the bus oh. just oh. break down? Oh no! Do we have to walk the rest of the way? I'm wearing flip flops. Wow. I don't think we're walking anywhere because we're stranded in the middle of the desert. This bus is bus tech. Oh, but another oh, bus can come pick us up in 12 hours. 12 hours? Well, sorry, little dude. We must be like the waves and roll with it. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Don't worry, everyone. I, a genius, will get us moving with plenty of time to see those jellyfish. What? <laughs> this might take a while. Oh man. The only thing we can do now is eat the popsicles Tom made and think about what might have been. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Guys, I see sand and sun. All right, the desert isn't all that different from the beach. Yeah, it's like a beach where the ocean is really, really far away. Exactly. So I say we all have beach fun here. Angela. I believe we still have a date. Good for you. But how am I gonna snorkel to a whale? Oh, Ginger, you don't need a whale to have a good time. Uh... Hey, Tom, if you squint, the heat waves on the horizon kind of look like an ocean. This is surprisingly nice. What are you doing? We thought about what you said, Tom, yeah. and you're right. We can have beach day fun even without a beach. That's great, but we're on a date. And it turned into a hangout, which is better than a date. Let's break out those ice pops, baby! No! These are for me and Angela. But we need refreshment. What if we die in this heat? Well, there is bottled water at the bus. Stop being so dramatic. No. <laughs> you win for now. But I won't rest until these ice pops are mine! Something tells me this isn't over. This isn't over! Huh? How did this get here? Uh. Huh? <gasps> People of the bus! We were meant to be having beachy fun on this last day before the fall, but then came the great break Hot! All except the 
to be a rapper, but I'm pretty sure I could do rapping. Hello? Huh? You're so distracted. Uh, sorry. I just don't want anyone stealing our ice pops. Yeah, I figured that out. But this date is about us, not the dessert, right? to get you a special end of the summer present. And I saw these beautiful earrings at the mall that reminded me of you, but I wanted to give them to you in a cool way, so I froze them in the ice pops. And I had planned to surprise you with them on a beach day date. Oh, that's so sweet. But wait, Ginger has my earrings now? Yes, I didn't tell you because I wanted you to be surprised. Obviously, that was not smart of me. Well, huh. what are you waiting for? <gasps> Let's get them back. Wait! <laughs> I've got to admit, for a while I was worried we were acting crazy. But now, I see you've got results. <laughs> yeah, good job, Ginger. You really motivated us to be our best selves. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this bus for nothing. Get ready, everyone! I'm coming for ya! Remind you of me? Yeah! 
because you love pizza. And now you get to have pizza on your ears every day. <laughs> uh, they're great. Very cheesy. I'm okay, folks, I'm okay. But I don't think that bus is gonna drive us to the beach today. How are we gonna get home? Hmm. Hey, look at that! It's the first falling leaf of autumn. Uh, bring it on! After summer fun like this, I'm looking forward to school. <laughs> So, here's what happened. Tom made a successful invention, finally. But everything went wrong. Now everyone thinks it's his fault, and every friend Tom used to have is, uh, on my side. Ah, uh, poor Tom. Hey, on with the show! <laughs> I used to think sunglasses were about style and sun protection, but now I know they're about letting me see a virtual world. Oh, I can even feel the forest mud in between my toes. <laughs> Great job, Ben. It looks like our fun glasses are gonna be a real hit. They were your brilliant idea, Roy. I just made them a reality. A virtual reality. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> the partnership is already better than the old one with What's his name? Yeah, TV thinks so too. Look. The helping hand horror is behind us. Thanks to Roy and his new tech company, Roy and Ben Enterprises. Thanks, Craig. But I'd rather call it Ben and Roy Enterprises. Put Ben first. Uh, and it turns out he's humble as well. People like us, yeah. But I say let's make them love us by throwing a big party for the fun glasses launch. Yeah! yeah! I love Hey, you okay? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little sad about what happened with Tom. Yeah, well, he was a big part of your life. I guess I could invite him to the party if you think that... Uh... No, he betrayed us, and I have to forget about him. Like, I'm sure he's already forgotten about us. This couldn't possibly get any... <laughs> Whoever you are, you better watch out. I'm willing to try Kung Fu. <laughs> there will be no Kung and Fu fight today. <gasps> Landlord? Sorry about the bag head, Tom. We thought you wouldn't meet with us if we just asked nicely. Why are you... Wait. Who is we? Uh, no. Hello? Aha! Tom. Oh, no. Come on! Haven't I suffered enough? We need your help. What? You see, something has to be done about Roy. Wait, you also think he's up to evil secret bad guy things? No, but we're used to clashing with whoever leads the garage group, and we preferred clashing with you. Roy is too clever. He convinced me to cut the rent in half. Why did I do that? He put our science lab out of business. Now how will we mock our competitors? <sighs> he told the school board I was too tough on my students. Now I have to give them positive yeah. reinforcement. Look. Huh. Well, I'm really more worried about the secret evil bad guy things, but I am on board with getting rid of Roy, and I know exactly what we need to do. Roy seems perfect but he's hiding something in a secret room under his house. If we can break into that room and expose whatever is in it, we can take him down. But the room is locked with a high-tech eyeball scanner that only Roy can use. So we need to fool that scanner. But we'd have to do it when no one would notice people sneaking around Roy's house. That could be tricky. Normally, yeah. But I happen to know about a party I wasn't invited to, and it's a perfect opportunity. 
Wow, the whole town is here celebrating our fun glasses. Who'd miss a chance to party with the new top team of tech? Time to tango. We need a photo of Roy's eye, so we need to get those glasses off of him as soon as possible. I'm on my way. Roy, you simply must try these top <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. I've trapped an utterly soiled your pretty head. Let me get no. that. <laughs> The glasses are gone. Repeat, glasses are gone. Landlord Vanthrax, you're up. Roy, I was just saying how positive reinforcement has really improved my teaching. I absolutely no, need I a picture need of us to hang in my class to remind me of your great advice. Say cheddar! <laughs> Photos in one eyeball coming up. Adjusting for the Coriolis effect, and fire! Nice work, team. I'm going in. You know, I always knew charity was important. Hello, what? everybody. <gasps> Remember me? I bet you all still hate me, but that doesn't matter right now, because I'm in Roy's house, and I'm about to open his secret door. Let's see who Roy really is. <laughs> Hello, Roy. Now watch this. Please enter surprise password now. Uh, what? I'm so sorry about this, everybody. A sick weirdo's broken into my home, and I need to get him the help he needs. In the meantime, how about some tunes? <laughs> Tom, 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 did you really think I didn't know you'd try to crash my party? <laughs> Nothing to say. I'd be speechless too if I were about to be sent to prison. I'll lock this door up, then I'll lock you up. Let me just enter my secret code. Huh? Huh? What the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Wait, these aren't my sunglasses. These are fun glasses. Aloha. We switched those with your normal glasses when you took them off. You never went into your house. It was very realistic virtual reality. Why would you do this? Oh, just to trick you into giving Tom your secret code. No biggie. Stop, huh? Hands off the student. What are you doing? Let's find out. Hey! Gotcha! I'll teach you not to... <gasps> Whoa! Oh, Roy. It's all the things that have mysteriously disappeared from town. What? My stolen silverware! Tom, you were right the whole time. Roy really is a thief. Not just a thief, a liar! These are plans for sabotaging the helping hands. Roy framed Tom! And this says he wanted to use the fun glasses to distract the whole town while he stole even more! <laughs> okay, everyone. I know this looks bad, but <laughs> soon it won't. After I destroy the evidence and escape... <laughs> <laughs> Sick of this dumpy town anyway! Ronnie, self-destruct initiated. So long, loser! Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no! We can't get blown up right after I finally proved I was right! We'll never be able to run out of here before it's too late! Baby, we don't have Just let me try!
Sorry we doubted you. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. Can you ever forgive us? Of course I can. Oh. I missed you all so much. <laughs> now let's go home. Wow, do I need a shower? <gasps> Ooh, you really do. <laughs> ah. What is happening? Ah. Oh. their fears. And to get to the end, they'll have to take on the most terrifying ride ever built. The Terror Raider. That show looks intense. Is Becca really doing it? I guess she has a lot of natural confidence. Look, there she is. What up, world? I'm Becca, and the only thing I'm worried about is how embarrassed my competitors will be when I grind them into sand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is she wearing? That hair looks familiar. Isn't that the wig Angela borrowed that turned her into a total jerk? <gasps> oh no, Becca's natural confidence isn't natural at all. It's coming from that bad news wig. What did you do today? So much. And uh, while you were doing that, were you wearing this wig? Chill out. I was going to my audition and feeling nervous or whatever. <sighs> huh? I found it in my room. I put it on and I felt confident. Like nothing could stop me. Plus, it looks cool. NBD, no big deal. <laughs> it is a big deal. This wig used to be mine, and it made me feel great too. But then it made me a total jerk. Uh, uh, Angela's gone. And I take what I want. <laughs> what did she become? Becca, <gasps> this wig changes you. It is a good thing I'm looking out for you. Ugh. Today on Brave Race, you've heard of a zip line and you've heard of lava. But what happens when those two things collide? Zip, 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 fire. Uh, Becca, are you sure watching all these old Brave Race episodes won't freak you out? I need to know what I might have to do. Besides, I can handle it. After all, I've got natural confidence. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to bed. Don't forget to be awesome tomorrow. You know it. Boom. <laughs> the great racers have to send a plane to the finish line. But this plane only goes upside down. The racers have to tickle a shark. Do a power up breakfast for your big race today, and <gasps> Becca? <gasps> she took the wig? Oh, I knew I should have put that thing in the garbage disposal. We can't let Becca wig out on TV. We have to do something. I said 
I wanted a pizza. I'm sorry, I'm the makeup girl. Don't talk back to the talent. Now give me what I want! <laughs> <sighs> Looks like mom is here. Becca, take off that wig! The extra confidence isn't worth it. Becca, if you do the race like this, you will be forever labeled a reality show villain. <laughs> the world will never forgive you. I don't care what the world thinks. Most of the world is lame anyway. The brave race starts here. You'll walk this way from this very tall building to that very tall building. Try not to fall, everyone, but watch out. I greased your wires. So mean, but allowed by our insane rules. Okay, racers, get brave. by just being yourself. The real you can do this, Becca. And I know because I'm doing it. And I'm not even on the show. I had to sneak past security to get here. Wow, Angela, I guess you really don't need the wig to be confident. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So imagine how confident you would be with Whoa. the wig! Wait, what? Join us. Our confidence would be unmatched. We'd be a great team! What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> We saw what happened. It seems the wig is some sort of parasitic, confidence-seeking organism. I thought this might be the case. You did? Well, I like to keep an open mind about neat little scientific possibilities. Guys, what do we do about Becca? She can't hurt anybody while she's stuck in that tower. Oh, there it goes! Oh, oh no. Come on, Angela, put on the wig. Everybody's doing it. Hank, that's not you talking. It's the wig. Run into the race course. Hello? Can someone get me down? That's cheating, you little brat! Beat it, bad Hank! Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Here comes Ginger, baby! Go! <laughs> Put on the wig, Angela! It's the logical thing to do! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> The Terrorator lives up to its name. Should we go around it? We can't run from this wig forever. It's time to give it what it wants. But, but... Trust me, and hand me your phone. wanted me to give this to you. Hi, Angie. I guess you won. You took over my brain and you're feeling super confident now. Yeah, that's right. Okay, if all you want is confidence, then you might as well use it. So, let's see how confident you are after you ride the Terrorator 20 times in a row. What, what?
me for this. What is Angela doing? She's teaching a wig that confidence isn't everything. She's 10 rides in. Angela, you beat that wig at its own game. Thanks for looking out for me, Ange. Sorry I didn't listen to you. Hey, listen, everyone gets nervous, but remember, you can do anything. You just have to believe it. No, hey, you're not an official Brave Race contestant. Oh, oh right, this was for TV. Hey, we never meant to mess up the show, it's just- Mess up? Are you kidding? That girl was not only the only one to finish the Brave Race course, she finished it in record time. Woo! Woo! Yeah! All right! Way to go! Did Angela win anything cool? Yes. The Brave Race winner gets unlimited rides on the Terrorator. And so do all her friends. All her what now? Uh, uh, wait! Uh, I'm good. Not again. No, thanks. I don't think I'm like... Oh!